This was taken when we were celebrating the birthday of the ANC. When the ANC was celebrating 103 years since it was born. I had to give a history of this country. And the history is history. History has, has chapters. Painful chapters. <clears throat> wonderful chapters. But it is history. When I said, when Jan van Riebeck landed in the Western Cape, our problems began. It's a, it's a, it's a historic fact. <clears throat> now, I always avoid giving the details of the history. Well, it's not necessary. When he landed, there were residents here, in this very city, who were established here. <clears throat> the Kohen San. They were living here, and they welcomed him warmly. And he established himself, they were together. Somewhere, somehow, a tension began. And there were wars that were fought. They were removed here forcefully from their area. Removed. And some of them went deep into the country, north, south, east. <clears throat> and the wars began because after the population arriving in South Africa grew, it is written down, it's not me, concocting it. There were eight major wars that were fought in the Eastern Cape. I didn't write that. We are not counting, we are not counting other small wars. Eight major wars. There was a great track from here when there was a quarrel between the Afrikaners and the British. As a history of this country, there was an establishment of four republics, two belonging to the British, two belonging to the Afrikaners. When all of this was done, the blacks were not consulted, even the establishment of the republics. The clash between the Africaners and the British continued. There is no part of the country that there were no clashes. With the British, <clears throat> with the Africaners. Some are big and known, some are not known. <clears throat> the Zulus fought the British, and the major one was the Etisanjuan. The Africaners fought the Zulus, <clears throat> and Ngom, what you call the Pral River. <clears throat> and the British, the Africaners discovered, <clears throat> as they call it, the discovery, they actually came across. <clears throat> mineral resources and the British heard this and they vowed to defeat the Africaners and there was an Anglo-Boer war I say history of this country very bitter war we all participated on either side <clears throat> only now when we are correcting history we are calling it a South African war because we all died in that war. At the end of that war, the English speaking and the Africaners met to negotiate and agreed the four republics should be combined and took very important decisions. 
where will the parliament be as part of compromises? It will be in Cape Town. Where will the administrative city, Pretoria, where will be the judiciary? Orange Free State in Bloemfontein. And one of the decisions when these two met was that you will have, therefore, a union of South Africa, the government, who should be elected at all times, but the black people would not participate in that process. <laughs> it was that decision, it was that decision, that decision that made the black people to make a call to meet in Mangaung in Bloemfontein to discuss what we called the national calamity that the indigenous people are not to be part of governing this country. Very bad decision on an important decision of uniting the four <clears throat> republics. It is at that time that we said we are going to fight to liberate ourselves, to be part of government, to participate, you must know. Because it was, this country was still under British colonialism fully. There were delegations that went to England to raise the matters. We did not want to fight. We wanted to be part of the process to govern this country. This now are the activities many years after the landing of Jan van Riebeck, who opened the way for them to be here. They started fighting here, Eastern Cape, <clears throat> Free State, everywhere. There were wars. And again, after many years, we said, but what type of a country do we want? Because we must be clear, if we say we want a non-racial South Africa, what are we talking about? That's why the meeting in 1955, wherein everyone in this South Africa, including government, was invited to say what type of a country do we want? And that's why the Freedom Charter is important. Because that's when we molded this country we have today, a democratic, <laughs> prosperous country. Important, important in that gathering is a preamble of the Freedom Charter. That is the basic policy of the ruling part. Where we said, we the people of South Africa declare for all to know that South Africa belongs to all who live in it, black and white.